Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So again, welcome back to the next lecture. And now this is a, a continuation of earlier lecture. So uh, in this lecture, I describe uh, the MLS algorithm. So MLS is moving least square. So just remember, I had my so domain. I have taken zero to one. So I have the grid points, regular or irregular, doesn't matter. We'll see later. So I have the grid points xi here. And I want to reconstruct uh, the function at this new point. So this is x new of i so our parameters x min a 0 x max is 1 and maybe 100 doesn't matter we'll increase it in the uh, computer uh, when we do the the code Delta X is 1 by N. H also we need 3.1 times Delta X. We need also Alpha, maybe 3. So what else? So nothing else. So our grid points X of I is X min plus i minus 1 times delta x our x nu is x min plus i minus half times delta x our u nu u of i was x of i square plus x of i plus 1. We can take any other function. We can, we will try later. So, to construct u nu of i from u nu of maybe j from u of i yeah so this is our task so in the first task so start the big loop so for x new it means for i is equal to 1 to n so we find the neighbor so i don't go, want to repeat it again since we already have that finding neighbor It means which we get NB list of NB. This is the number of and this is list of so 
So finding the neighbor inside it. So this is the first part. In the second part, finding the nearest grid point, grid x of, so I define as mean int, so it was x mean, I was given in the algorithm, x mean int of so nearest grid of x new of i say this was x of mean in so once we know the mean in so here mean in is one of j in this j loop. So here, one of the, because here I have for j is equal to one to n one, n plus one, I have completed the, this small loop for neighboring this. So this is one of the j, which we had all in, our, in the previous lecture. And now, we are ready for the computation. So let us start now our third part. So before starting computation, so we have for k is equal to 1 to nb. So what do we need? We need uh, d of x of k is equal to x new of list of k, which we get from this part, minus x of mean int, which we get from this part here, part second. Now we need the weight function W of k, this is exponential of minus alpha. So we have already defined alpha here. Absolute value of dx of k square divided by h square. This is already known. We know the alpha. We know now dx of k and we know the h. And what we need, also we need the difference of the function value to its, uh, the value where we are looking for. B of k is equal to u of list of k minus u of mean in. So these all are known. Now, if order is equal to zero, yeah, it means safe hard interpolation. So, what was the safe hard interpolation? Shepard interpolation was just given that uh, it was just given f of x nu, so it was x o in our formula. This is nothing else summation of w of k, k runs from 1 to n v. So in our lecture, I had presented m, so here. Instead of that M, I have NB, F of list of K, 
divided by summation of W of K. So this was our formula for the Shepard interpolation. So this is the formula for Shepard interpolation for the zeroth order. So now what do we need? We need this summation and this summation. Now you just refine. So for so you initialize your S of A, for example, this is the zero. So I initialize this part. For this part, I initialize S of U a zero summation. So for K runs from one to number of neighbor. S A is equal to S A plus W of K S of U is S of U plus so here this should be now I write instead of F so we have function U here yeah so we can replace this by U so now this will be S U plus U of list of K int. So once we know this, and then our interpolation u of nu of i is it is nothing else s u divided by s of a. That's all. So we end. We in the big loop here. So this big loop, what we have, so we in, so then we go to every point, and finally we store u nu of i. This is the case if it is order zero. Now, if it is order else, if order is equal to one. So now we can also give as a parameter, so we can also define 0 or 1 or 2. So one of them we define, if we define 0, we are in this if condition, if we define 1, we will be that condition, if we define 2, we will be in another one. So what is the Moving least square interpolation for order one. Remember, first order MLS approximation formula from the previous lecture. So let me look. I also don't know implicitly. So we have f of x o is f of x min plus a one, where a one is coming from this formula: of sum of w z, sum of w z d x z sum of wz dxj sum of wz dxj square times a1 a2 is equal to here we get summation of wz bj summation of wz dxj times bj yeah, we, we this is the formula what we have, and now we have to construct now this two by two matrix. So we have already defined what is our W, what is our dx, and what is our b1. Yeah, what is our b? So then, if we have that, so now we do the 
loop for k is equal to now this is summation with respect to m or n is n b 1 to n b so i know i define this as a, so now initialization so s of a is 0 i define this as s a i define this as s of a of x this as uh, is also 0 s of a of this double x also 0 and then i have the other part s of u is 0 s of u with multiplication with x so this is 0 this is initialization so if we have that initialization now i can write the small loop for a is equal to 1 to n b our s of a is equal to s of a plus w of k this part s of a of x is s a x plus w of k d of x k so which we have already from here s a of x x is s a of x x plus w of k times so this is a multiplication dx of k times dx of k this is a dx square and now our s of u is s of u this is the right hand side plus w of k b of k this is time multiplication s of u of x is s of u of x plus w of k dx so this is a time star dx of k times b of k so now we end the loop so we can give in a matlab so either we invert it analytically so we this is a two by two matrix so we can invert analytically or just give or in the matlab define the matrix a yeah is equal to so this is the first matrix s of a s of a of x and another one s of a of x is a x x and right hand side vector this is uh, suppose this is r now r is s u s of u of x this is a right hand side vector and now the matlab gives directly that suppose the solution d is equal to a backslash v where our a1 is equal to d1 so once we know a1 is equal to d1 and then our final interpolation will be instead of u nu of i so let us continue here from here u nu of i is equal to so this is the u so we have already x mean is already mean in given from here plus a1 so a1 we have already given define so this is d1 or a1 now we finish the first order so 
if order is zero, if you have in the beginning given order is zero, you, you are in this loop, uh, in this uh, block, then you find your you new reconstructed value here. If you define order is equal to one here, we are now in this block, then we get the first order interpolation from the here. And now if it is order is equal to two, because we may need the higher order uh, reconstruction. So then what we get? So remember, MLS approximation of order two. So we have to invert three by three matrix there. So what we have? So we have three by three matrix here summation of WJ, summation of WJ, DXJ, half summation of WJ, DXJ square. So this is that symmetric matrix. I don't write symmetric part. WJ DXJ square. So 1 by 2 W summation of WJ DXJ cube. So then finally 1 by 4 summation of WJ DXJ to the power 4. This is a matrix times we have A1, A2, A3 is equal to so three summation, summation of WJ, BJ, uh, similar to that. So instead of this, we have this part and, and the third component we will have BJ, DXA. So up to here, it is first order. And now we will have the second order half WJ, DXA square BJ. Now we have to construct this three by three matrix. So here, what I have, I have three summation. So initialization is A is again zero, S A X is zero, S A X X is zero, S A we have triple X as well as up to order four, S A one, two, three, four is zero. The right hand side initialization S of U is zero, S of U of X is zero, S of U of X, X is zero. Yeah, this is the initialization. Now we do the same loop here, nothing else. So all are the same for K is equal to one to NB. So I have everything same. So S A is equal to S A plus same as that. I have S of A of X is same as that. S A of X X. S A of X is now I will have here half. Let me write the same. So S of A of X, X, X plus half W of K, DX of K power 3. S of A of is equal to S of A of X. plus 1 by 4, W of K, DX of K, power 4. Then we have similarly our SU, SU X, SU of is third component other than that. So you can just copy and put it here. And the, the last component is SU X X plus W of K, so it is half 
W of k times dx of k times b of k. So now we in the loop. So what do we get? Our A matrix is now 3 by 3 matrix. It is S of A, S of A x, S of A x x. So another one is S of A x, the symmetric part here. S of A x x. So S of A triple x. The last row is S of A x x. So I think it is better when I don't write this one. So I can write here half so here half and then here i can write half yes again this is half s a triple x then one fourth of s a so this is the a matrix then we will have our B matrix. So our B matrix is uh, suppose, uh, so with here we just define B1 because we will get a conflict because we already have B here. So I right hand side matrix is, oh sorry, not B1. So here I have given, given R because it is already R. So our right hand side matrix R is S of U. S of u x. So here half I already have given S of u x x. Now solve d is equal to a minus backslash b to r. Yeah. So this we get. So then we get our interpolation u nu of i is u of mean in plus d1. So here we get d1, d2, d3. So this then, so int it is a in of if condition or order and the final in the in of big loop. So now we have stored for all order is equal to zero, order is equal to one, order is equal to two we have stored the value of u nu of i and now we can plot in the MATLAB just give the plot command then we can plot the reconstructed value and we can construct also the analytical value so that we can see how approximation how good is the approximation and even we can compute the, the absolute value of the error how far the error we are getting so they'll, that I will continue in, uh, in the next lecture. So wait for the next lecture for MATLAB session. So thank you very much.